Today is Tuesday, uh, December 15th, 2015, uh, and the title of this rant will be uh, Chuck Collins Rages Against the Inequality in the U.S. and the World. And a guy by the name of Chuck Collins gave a speech the other night. Uh, and he's with a group called Patriotic Millionaires. Basically, a whole group of millionaires are saying, we want to be taxed more. We think that the, uh, uh, the system uh, of inequality is because of the laws that have been written in the United States are encouraging inequality and that those laws need to change. And we think we need to be taxed. Well, we think we know we need to be taxed more, not just at the uh, slimy little rate of 15 percent uh, on capital gains or whatever those hedge funds do where they get shht, the money ahead of time. Uh, you know, and uh, he really pointed out a really good thing because he's from a very wealthy family. Um, he knows all these people. I don't know any of them. <laughs> you know, he has a front row seat to the whole thing. He doesn't hate, you know, the wealthy. It's the inequality. But again, the inequality has been written in uh, for, year, you know, for let's say 200 years. Because why does anyone get elected to Congress? They get elected to Congress to help out the wealthier people in their districts get uh, advantages that they don't have. We could go back just a little bit. Uh, when the railroads were being built, they got all kinds of free land back in the 1840s, and 1850s, 1860s, because America wanted to expand, right? And of course, then and since ever, the laws are written basically so that the wealthy people can do it. It's the inequality. And of course, you combine that with climate change and the fact that Hey, it doesn't make any difference how much stinking money you have. You can't take it with you. And if I remember correctly, that was a movie from about 1958. No, 38. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, pollution, smog, uh, uh, pollution in, in, in our waterways, in the air, in the ground, it affects everyone. And it will continue to affect everyone. And the wealthy just cannot get away from it all. You know, uh, and it affects everything uh, in terms of not only the, the pollution aspect of it, but also the inequality of it, is that the inequality is making us as close to an aristocracy as you can imagine. Uh, and such things such as our economy, our democracy, our educational system, you know, and especially when it comes to climate change, are so affected. They've taken the fabric out of our everyday life. Things that used to be for granted, you know, can't be taken for granted anymore because from a technical standpoint, uh, the average wage earner hasn't really had a pay raise or such a nominal pay raise. It hasn't been since the early 70s. Uh, I remember my dad mentioned something like that back in mm, 1990, something like that, that, you know, and I've been affected by that. <laughs> you know, I can't get ahead. You know, I'd like to retire, but I can't get ahead. Uh, and of course, according to Sean Hannity, all I have to do is work hard <laughs> and that'll happen. And that's not really the case especially for those at the bottom. They can work their ass off and they're not going to get ahead. And it's not because they're not working hard. It's because the rewards aren't there. It's because of the inequality that's there. Now, uh, I'm reminded of, um, of uh, a poem offhand uh, from, uh, God, what the hell, what was it? Dylan Thomas, who he said, rage, rage uh, against the dying of the light. And of course, that's what we're seeing now. What is it going to take uh, to bring that back? Now, Mr. Collins talks about, um, you know, we need to ask everyone to bring that money home, the money that's been the 60 tr 6 trillion, 60 trillion, whatever the heck it is, <laughs> 6 trillion <laughs> that's overseas. Bring it back, pay your taxes on it, invest in the United States. Let's bring equality back here at home. And that's all sound, sounds well and good. Uh, but, you know, these multinational corporations, they don't want to do any of that kind of stuff. They might do it. Maybe we should slut shame some of these people. I mean, uh, let's just take five people. Let's just take mm, Tim Cook, Larry Ellison of Oracle. Oh, Tim Cook is Apple. Larry Ellison of Oracle. Warren Buffett of uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Um, Bill Gates, Microsoft. And what's that other guy's name? Zuckerberg. All right. They're all worth uh, over about 40 billion each. Uh, maybe maybe one of them's not. No, Cook isn't. <laughs> but they're all worth all kinds of money, all right? And what did they do? They set up their they set up a fund to give that money away, but not have any of that money taxed. You know, slut shame them and to start paying the taxes on that. You know, set up your fund 
after you paid your taxes on taking that money out, then use it to give it away, all right? And then, you know, Tim Cook, uh, who doesn't have as much money, hey, you're Apple, just say, hey, we're going to pay our taxes. We're bringing all our money back. We're paying our taxes, and we're going to charge you and the people all across the world $1, $2, $5, $7 more for whatever the heck you buy, and you're still going to buy it because we make the greatest shit out there, all right? And then he can tell his suppliers, we're not going to buy from you unless you pay your taxes, unless you bring that money back to the United States, you know? And then Warren Buffett can start telling his shareholders, hey, we're going to increase the value of our shares over time because we are going to pay our taxes on every single enterprise that I own. And that we are going to do the same thing that Tim Cook is doing is we are going to get our suppliers from all the companies that I own and we're going to get them to do the same thing because it's the right thing to do for America and it needs to be done now. And the money that that is taxed for will be to, you know, air, air quality, water quality, um, soil quality, uh, uh, increase in education, increase the minimum wage, uh, equal time for equal work. What is that? Uh, Equal pay, excuse me, equal pay for equal work. I mean, these are all things that can be done, and they need to be done now, not later than now. And it doesn't have anything to do with empathy. It has the fact that you need to do this stuff. This is what is made, makes America great. You know, all these Republicans talk about uh, 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 the United States is the exceptional country. Yeah, let's make ourselves exceptional. Let's go back, let's pay our taxes, let's invest, invest in the United States, let's invest in our cities, let's invest, you remember, you know, when Jimmy Carter had the uh, um, uh, solar panels on the White House in the late 70s, he says, we're gonna, we could be in energy independent by 2010. Dang, that never happened, because as soon as Reagan came in, he tore the, the panels down. OK, we have to have a whole new, and, and uh, um, uh, uh, alternative energy. You know, why shouldn't it be the United States that's the leader in all of that? You know, why should we be following? If we're the exceptional country, country we need to be leading.